Hello, good morning, and welcome to Sunrise Sports on 3FM 92.7. My name is Kelvin Oswansa, bringing you the latest in the world of sports. But before we get in there, let's give thanks to Mega 6 Lotus. Six numbers can't change your life. What would you do if you won 1 million Ghana CDs today with only 49 numbers to choose from? Mega 6 Lotus is offering you that opportunity to win Mega with them. All you need to do is to dial star. Um, uh, 266 hash and download the iOS and Android apps on mega6loto.com to play. It's now from Monday to Saturday before 5 p.m. So make sure you win Mega 6 Loto. Mega 6 Loto is approved and regulated by the National Lotteries Authority. Well, let's begin from the Black Stars and uh, still Chris Hutton, uh, who is under pressure after losing his two friendly games, especially the second one, which was a disappointing 4 nil loss to, uh, that is the United States of America, the Judy's back in Nashville. Well, he however says he's still the best man for the job and he hopes to turn things around very soon. If you're asking me if I, if I feel I'm the right person, yes. Yes, I do. Um, the result today is, is something that is hugely disappointing. Um, we have two games in November, two big games in November, two big World Cup games in November. And it's our responsibility and my responsibility as coach to turn these bad defeats and bad performances uh, into better ones and ones where we can win both games. So that is from Chris Hutton. Well, better performances so the team can win both games. But a uh, member of Parliament for Tumali South, Honorable Harun Idris, who has advised the Ghana Football Association to do all they can to mend all the cracks in the team before the Nations Cup and trust in his faith in Ket Okreko and the elected executive council members to make things work before the Nations Cup. I think part of our problem is just getting the players to know each other and get to play with each other's teamwork okay. and instill the value of discipline in them and we are there. I'm very optimistic about the future of Ghana football. Well, I congratulate Kurt and the newly elected executive of uh, ESCO and all those who are responsible that they should not fail us. They should uh, inspire our young people and ensure that our national team are able to come back home with some Laura's that we can celebrate. They should go, look for gold and go for gold. They should look for gold and go for gold. So that is from Honorable Harun Idrisu. But uh, there's been the problem of mass exodus of footballers every single season in the Ghana Premier League. Yesterday on GPL Express Great Olympics, assistant coach Jimmy Kobler expressed concerns at the mass transfer of players into other leagues. Kobler bemoans the inadequate investment in the league as the problem. Me, I believe in ability to pay. You, you are paying player an amount you are sure that by the end of the month you will get it for him. Don't go and come out with some money that you, now, you know that there's no sponsorship. There are no people behind. So I can't pay these boys this kind of players. And sometimes it becomes a problem with those who don't have that kind of ambition that I am not looking at them. I am looking at my target and where I want to get to. And so, so many things contribute to that. And there is hard time. Look at our boys. Immediately, they score one, two, three goals. They are off. They don't care about where they are going. Is it Iraq? Is it where? Is it Cyprus? Is it whatever? They want to move out where they will pay them $2,000. You get it. That is from Jimmy Kobla. He has been mourning the mass exodus of local players into other leagues. Now, moving on to the Confederation of Africa Football Cup, and they have announced the partnership deal with the government of Rwanda through the Rwanda Development uh, Board, the Ministry of Sports and Rwanda Air. The partnership aims to develop Africa football and tourism through the new African Football League, which kicks off in Tanzania this weekend. So, that is it there from the Confederation of Africa Football but a lot has been said by uh, that is uh, Lux, uh, Lux, uh, Luxolo September who is the head of CAF TV and he speaks about the benefits of this league for all Africa football clubs. African football needs innovative solutions so that it can be self-sustaining itself 
so that we don't hear this whole thing of our players, best players playing in Europe and other places. Of course, we are in a global community whereby we are always going to exchange things, but it must be because I want to go and play in Denmark. I want to go and play in France. We have to develop our own thing. The African Football League is an idea towards creating sustainability, creating relevance, creating conversations. And of course, if you talk about the last part, it has not been short of creating any relevant, any conversations as it is. But from Luxulo, September now moving on phenomenal. Jude Bellingham seems to be years ahead of his time. Well, Bellingham was the real star winning the penalty for the equalizer when England played against Italy, then producing a sensational best of pace to set up Rashford for the second as England defeated the Azuri to qualify for the European Championships 2024 in Germany. Well, uh, former Premier League manager for Leeds United, Sam Allardyce, believes Jude Bellingham is the S factor in the Garrett Southgate's team. When you've got the emergence of Jude Bellingham, you know, that what the one-man difference is massive today, you know. It's, I think the one-man difference has become more, more appropriate now than it's ever before. His capabilities of adapting to life at such a young age to a professional football club in Germany and now in Spain is just remarkable for a man with, what, what do we call it now? An old head on young shoulders, don't we? And uh, his ability is, is shining. Not only that, it's assisting goals, isn't it? You know, so we can look to we can look to him to be not only assisting goals, but actually scoring them if we give him the freedom to do that. And I think we must. Is it problem? Might be the nearest thing to Gaza we've seen. Well, that is it there from Sam Allardyce on Jude Bellingham. But unfortunate news to football superstar Neymar. And he has torn a ligament and meniscus in his left knee and will have to undergo surgery after being injured in Brazil's 2-0 loss to Uruguay. The Brazilian Football Federation has revealed the 31-year-old who joined Saudi Arabian side Al-Hilal from Paris Saint-Germain in August was stretched off in tears just before halftime in Brazil's 2026 World Cup qualifying match in Montevideo on Tuesday. Now to Liverpool's defender Andy Robertson and he's also expected to be out for up to 10 weeks with a shoulder injury. He got on international duty. Andy Robertson has been seen wearing a slinger as fears grow that the Liverpool star could be ruled out until 2024. That is for a period of 10 weeks while Robertson 29 had to be substituted following a collision with goalkeeper um, uh, Unai Simon just before halftime in Scotland's 2-0 defeat in Sevilla last Thursday. Now, the left-back returned to Merseyside to be assessed by Liverpool's medical staff. Now, Barcelona president Juan Laporta is being investigated for suspected bribery by Spanish prosecutors. He's one of the seven people who are being investigated over payment of 7.3 million euros made by Barcelona to former senior referee Jose Maria Enriquez Negreira. So, uh, Barcelona still finding themselves in lots of trouble. Now, to Manchester United and their former coach, Rainy Mullenstein, believes that Manchester United has a lot more to do than just the takeover from Sir Jim Ratcliffe when it comes to football operations. Revamping, you know, and it needs, you know, some really thorough investment. So there's Carrington, so all these things that need to happen, um, even around Carrington. There's a lot of things that need to be happen if Man United were to go back. But more than anything, you want Man United back where they belong, which is challenging for the Premier League titles and the biggest titles in Europe. At the moment, there's no real sense of that happening. When you look at the first eight games, is there? What have you made of it? It was a full start, for sure. And I think that you know, listening to Eric Ten Hag, I think he was managing his sort of expectations to be fairly honest but he wouldn't expect it to start like this so they need to get they need to get you know the show on the road as quick as possible and to get some a run of games you know a good wins to then you know calm everything down and get the best out of the team Getting the best out of the team now. Let's have a look at some moment football news. And Jennifer Hermoso has been named in Spain's squad for the first time since Luis Rubiales kissed her on the lips during the World Cup trophy presentation at the Women's World Cup. The kiss, which forward Hermoso says was not consensual, sparked outcry, and Rubiales eventually resigned as the Spanish Football Federation president. Rubiales, whose actions overshadowed Spain's World Cup win in August, was also given 
A restraining order Spain will face Italy and Switzerland in the Nations League later this month. Now moving on to some boxing news and we'll finish up with that. Joshua Boachis, British battle with Dan Aziz this weekend has been postponed after Aziz suffered a back injury in his final training session. Boachis had been set to face Aziz in a crucial light heavyweight clash at the O2 Arena on Saturday night. But doctors have ruled Aziz as unable to fight due to a trapped nerve in his back, Dan Aziz on people doubting his injury that ruled him out of his fight with Joshua Poachi. You know, I would never ever do that. Like, I would never ever stage an injury. Like, I'd rather just go on, go out there with an injury. Like, you know, there's mm. people who have worked hard, worked hard to pay for a ticket to come. There's people that have traveled far. I just wouldn't do that. Like, and, um, you know, it's nothing to do with boxer nothing to do with Ben nothing to even do with Boatsy I got the injury like mm. I got the injury um just like the other day and that's when the fight got you know pulled off to so seeking medical advice and you know going to a specialist it was like it was just a no so yeah that, that was quite hurtful um especially from people in the industry forget about you know you have your your people on Twitter and uh, you know your keyboard warriors but when you have people in the actual industry who know the game and know the business mm. talking about conspiracies and this that that's really really poor and like yeah i was quite quite enraged and i didn't i, I weren't happy i weren't pleased well that is from dan aziz and we end our sports uh, uh updates this morning on sunrise uh thanks to mega six lots of six numbers can't change your life what would you do if you won one million ghana cities today with only 49 numbers to choose from Mega Six Lotto is giving you the chance to win exciting prizes. Don't forget to play now from Monday to Saturday before 5 p.m. every single day. Dial star 266 hash or download the iOS and Android apps on megasixlotto.com to play. Mega Six Lotto is approved and regulated by the National Lotteries Authority. Sunrise continues after the sports of music with DJ IBM. Stay tuned with the team. Have a hugely terrific Thursday.